JD here to Williams and as you can see we're at Melbourne here today for a hot lap and setup guide. Uh, just a word of warning this track really really isn't a good track for me it's probably my worst track in the game so this lap isn't really trying to go out for raw speed it's just for literally for breaking points and line so hopefully you enjoy it and starting lap as usual getting DRS as you can for the first corner just at the 100 meter ball there you want to go down the third gear try not to clip the curb too much because it could be a corner cut use the curb on the exit and DRS again on the exit for the second corner you want to be going just before the 100 meter board again go down to second gear as you did with last game and stay from the middle of the track for the next left do a slight little lift and hold it through third gear for the left completely flat out through the right and then for the next right it's a very very tricky corner you want to be looking for the, hut, the black box just as you go past that there that's where you break go down to third gear use the curb from the exit feed it through its next right hander for the next right you want to be breaking at the 100 meter board again this time go down to second gear to get the turn in and short shift to further than the exit, use the curb again. And for this corner it's very very tricky again for the left hand you will go down to fifth gear for this. Look for the lines in the middle of the road. As soon as they end there that's the turning in point, hold it in fifth, keep it in the middle of the track and completely flat out for the right. And then for this next right hander, just after the 100 meter board again, so you always be looking for that middle board. Go down to third gear, feet in for its right, use the curb in the exit. Hold it in fourth. As it revs out, that's your turning in point and go up to fifth. Then just after, just before the red ball, sorry, on the right, you want to go down to second. Hold it to the middle of the track again. Hold it in third and then short shift to fourth. Get in DRS as you can and then that's a lap of Melbourne. A lap of Melbourne, sorry. So we've managed to do a 25.5, which is a pretty reasonable time. It's nothing too crazy. I'm pretty sure Rosberg said he was doing like mid 25s, low, 20, low 25s as well, so... Nothing too disastrous and a few couple of little extensions on that but you could go a lot a lot faster if you really want to be quite dirty so overall quite a solid lap for me considering it's a track I really really despise and I've just never enjoyed so straight to the garage now there's no transition here it's going straight to the garage just in case you think I'm using a different setup as quite a few people, few people seem to think I do but um 3-1 wings what I used, I think anything higher I just, I just get more oversteer through the high speed corners. So you can use it if you wish but I wouldn't use anything lower. As for the brakes, high small, 47.53 as usual. And then for the balance, so 6.11. Just a compromise between the high speed and the low speed as well. I find if I put the balance up a bit higher, it'll make the rear end a bit more, bit, uh, quite unstable. So that's why I tend to go for that for a compromise and 11.1, 11.9. I had a reason why I've done this for the front spring stiffness, it's just to make it a bit more stable and I just need that traction and more corner grip for the rear so that's what I mainly struggle with around here is the rear stability so that's the reason why I've done that and then it's just the usual alignment so that's a hot lap of Melbourne and my setup there, hopefully it's helped you out, I know it probably wasn't the fastest lap in the world but as I said it's a track I really really don't particularly enjoy but nonetheless I still hope it's helped you out breaking points and lines. Let me know if you liked the video by giving it a like, subscribe for more F1 2014 videos and see you later.